Hello. Welcome. How are you doing today? I'm good. That's I'm great. Liz. I'm Liz London. I'm the founder of Art for Your Cause. I'm so excited to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I Thank you so much. I'm excited. Yes. Yes. You have a beautiful piece and it's very powerful. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been an artist? Um, I studied um, art while I was studying architecture. Oh, you're that an was so, Yes, um, I'm a trained architect, but I'm not practicing. Uh -huh. um, I'm more co doing construction management instead of designing. Okay. Well, that's so important I, too. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, it's because I could not do the creative part was very hard for me because I think I used to tend to be very perfectionist. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that was bad when it comes to designing because you can never be so be perfect. perfect. Yeah. But you can actually do that in construction because you are, you know, it's physical. You can actually control that. Better. Yeah. Um, so I studied that during, um, during college and I never practiced until very late that, um, in 2007, mm -hmm. I decided, uh, after I met my wife, I decided I'm going to sketch her face so she can fall in love with me. Oh, that's you know? a great idea. You so need to I get did. lessons on that. Yeah. So I did that and she was excited and she she kind of um you know have me you know we start going to museums and together and so on and so forth and she loved that i can draw i'm not right. just a uh a regular guy uh, so cool so i continue i went back to my artwork and i start painting again and so on and so forth mm -hmm. um and then it was just, I was just doing it as a hobby for a long time. And 2010, um, I was doing a construction project and the, the owner of the building, I just asked him, can I do an art show in, your, in, in the commercial space? That's and great. He said, and he said, yes. Ah. So I did an art show and i continue doing more art show every time i have a project consortium project i make sure i i if they have a commercial space i get to do a pop-up oh that's great so i was doing that for from 2010 and 2015 my father was passing you know, my father was sick and oh, he was you know yeah he was um he always introduced me to his friend as my son, the architect, uh, you know, all the time, never the artist. Um, so on his deathbed, he tell me, um, you know, it's time you be your own person, you know, forget me. You don't have to be an architect for me or anything like that. Follow your dreams, do whatever. And when he, he told me that on, let's say, ah, uh, April 29th, mm -hmm. April 29th, he told me that. And I was working for this developer who also have a commercial space. Mm -hmm. So I just tell him, you know, I'm renting this space. I'm going to put a, um, put my, get a studio, a real studio on a commercial storefront. And they tell me, yes. Wow. So on the, on May 1st, I went to sign the lease. Mm -hmm. May 1st, he died. I didn't get to go home on time to tell him that I have a studio. Oh, no. You know, but he I know knew, he, he knew. I know he knew it. You know, yeah. I know he knew it. Yeah. So I operated this the, the studio since 2015. In 2018, I get a bigger place. Wow. Where, so where now, is this located? Where are you? It, it's, it's in Harlem, New York. Oh, fantastic. Yes. Um, my gallery is called the Underground Gallery. Cool. So you um, still have it? I still have it. Um, the landlord been very kind to me <laughs> during this the pandemic. Um, the only conditions we have is 
if I don't go, although he give me an alternative space to uh, work, which I'm still doing because I'm doing a lot of construction work for him, mm -hmm. construction management work. As long as I don't go in this space, I don't have to pay rent. So it's crazy because this week gonna be my first week that I open back. Congratulations! You, know? you got a <laughs> week. Yes. <laughs> you I'm won a contest you. and you get to go back to your studio. That's yes. really cool. You know, so I'm opening back up. Uh, actually, Friday is gonna be my first day where I'm gonna um, have visitors come because I have to reinstate my uh, insurance. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because I put, you know, I, I put a hole on it during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. So on Friday, we're going to like, I'm just going to open. But my space is not really a gallery, gallery model, because I do a lot of um, open studio. Mm -hmm. So it's op it's an alternative space. My, my model is, um, it's a working studio where people can come and see me working. Uh -huh. Okay, and when I'm having uh, solo exhibits or my, you know, for me or other friends of mine, I'll remove everything from the space, put them in storage, and turn it to a real gallery setting. Well, that's wonderful. You know, so... So you're so, really improving the community. So actually, um, right now in the location I am in, I, in 2018, when I opened it, I was really the first person in there doing that, in that area. As of uh, last year, we have two, three more galleries open. That's fantastic. You started the area. That's wonderful. You know, and we're hoping there will be more so we can turn it into a destination. Yeah. And it's because it was very hard for me to get people to go to my space. Yeah when there was no other place to go, mm -hmm. you know? So that is a very exciting time. That's fantastic. You know, it's very exciting time for me when we come to that. So tell me about your, so what kind of medium do you work in? Do you work in all kinds of mediums or? Um, or? My, my, my preferred medium is acrylic paint. Yeah. Is that what um, the is that you did? Is that acrylic? Yes, it's actually that one is mixed media. It's because I mean, it's big thick. Thank you. And it's large. It's uh, four feet by eight feet wide. Do you still have it? I still have it because I'm. I have. I I sold a lot of uh, multiples. I do multiples of it. Smaller. Uh, small. Mm -hmm. Not actually smaller painting, oh, but wow. different color. Different mm -hmm. colors. Mm -hmm. but the same kind of uh, yeah. drawing and I paint. And this one, the large one is um, spray paint, acrylic paint. And I also, because um, this painting, I want it to be so huge and so people can really experience it in different ways. I use um, industrial caulking for the lines. Wow. So, so it's, it's like three dimensional. It's like three dimensional. Oh. Uh, one of the best experience I had with uh, that this painting is that this couple come in with their son who's blind, mm -hmm. and I tell them it's okay for him to touch it. Yeah. And he touched it, you know, and his reaction was, and I guide his hand. I said, "This is the eyes," yeah. and when he. When he come to the chain, he said, oh, he got a chain on. Yeah. You know, exactly. I follow his hand and so and so forth. So that was a very uh, exciting thing for me when it comes to this print, you know? Right. So it can be experienced not just visually, but you can also touch it, you know? So that was very really exciting. That's wonderful. So tell me about the, what, what prompted you to create this piece? Uh, this very, piece is very, it's very uh, striking and very emotional. Uh, he lives. Um, two reasons why I did it. One is because of the political environment that we were going through. And when did you, know, you create we, it? When did you create it? Um, it's two that, during the election. Wow, the last yeah, one? The last election. Wow. No, the one before that with oh. Mr. Trump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so 
So my idea was to use it as a promotion to remind people that freedom is not free. Freedom, you have to earn it. You have to work on it. And um, you have to vote, you know, to keep that freedom that you have, you have to vote. And for me, especially because I am an immigrant, I'm not an American citizen. Where are you from? I'm from Haiti. Wow. So when did I'm, you immigrate? Actually, one of these is, is, is a complex reason why I'm still Haitian, um, because all my family are American these days, but my family have properties in Haiti and it just happened. I was very naive when they said, OK, we're going to give you everything. We're going to put everything on your head, on your name, because oh. um, because of family history, we feel like if I become American, the government might find a way to take the, the, our properties away. Yeah. So that's why I'm still Haitian. But I've been here since 1973. Wow. Um, I've been here since 1973. And we're doing, actually, the family, we're doing things like, uh, actually, we had to put a stop onto it. We're doing a, uh, a, a farm co-op where because we have land so we have people working on the land wow. we help them out my family home right now is being converted to an orphanage yeah yeah because we have no plans to really go back uh, oh, yeah. yeah so we are planning to actually give the, everything away because my family don't sell yeah we don't sell land, we don't sell property because of the way my great grandfather acquired the, the, the lands and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. We never use it as part of money making thing. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to plant. My mother is 103, and that's her last wish to give everything away. Oh, that's so beautiful. So we are in the process of working all of that out. Uh, and so then are you going to go for your citizenship? Then I'll go for my citizenship um, because um, I don't think I'll go back. You yeah. know, there is, yeah, and I'm married. My yeah. wife is American. I'm in the process of, of adopting this incredible young boy. He's three years old. He's American. Oh, that's so exciting. So life is, you know, very yeah. exciting with that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you just got but, all kinds of great things going on. Uh, I'm, I'm working very hard. Super and blessed. Because uh, this is the first contest I ever entered. Really? And you won? <laughs> and there because was 50, 45 to 50 entries. Yeah, actually, this is the first time. I never won. It's just I like the idea of art for a cause. Oh, that's the company I started. Yeah, I like the whole process, the whole idea uh, about it. And I'd I say, you know, I'm going. I'd love for you to become an artist on art for your cause. That that would be great. Uh, if you I, I'm need any open. help, if you need any help setting up your profile, we'll okay. be glad to help you with that. That would be great. I'm interested yeah. because when I saw that, I said, you know what? Because I'm not very, how would I say it? You know how I'm talking to you right now? This is my artist side, mm -hmm. okay? Personally, I'm an introvert. I don't usually <laughs> uh, be it. so open with people who is non-artist, non-artist oh, related. I'm very That's quiet. You gotta be safe, keep it safe. Yeah, keep it yeah, but, yeah. Yes, I'm very quiet in that way and I don't, uh, how would I say, blow my horn a lot. Yeah. Well, you need you to know? start. <laughs> yeah, 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 yes, yes, yes. That's what all my followers, because once I I receive the news, I send it to my followers, and all of them is like, it's about of time. I got so much response. <laughs> oh, we've been great. telling you to do this. We've been telling uh -huh. you to do that. It's about time you do this. Uh -huh. So they all very excited about the That's whole thing. Wonderful that I, I did that but the idea was the first one was that and also the same because people need to vote since i couldn't vote i was pushing people to vote mm -hmm. you know to 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 make sure that everybody's fine and the second one was june 10th 
um, it was also the team also related to Juneteenth. That's you know African Americans uh, revolutionary thing. So I did it regarding that part also to bring to make people aware uh, that freedom wonderful. is yeah freedom is not free again it's like something you have to work you have to own it you have to um express it you have to communicate it exactly you know so you that's do, the, you do a great job with i'd love to see your other pieces do you have a lot of other art available um i do um actually i, I do I, i'm i'm very poly poly you know I, I do a lot of work yeah um i work in series Mm -hmm. You know, so I do. I do a lot of work. I have a lot. Actually, uh, since the pandemic, I've been working more than ever. Mm. Um, I, I've created a lot of work, a lot of series. Is it all that, photographed? I'm sorry, I didn't mean. Is hmm? it all photographed? Um, they is is figurative expressionist. I usually take people's face and convert it to my own thing. That's uh nice. the painting actually is two people <clears throat> that painting is 50 cents the artist and muhammad ali wow i combined the two to make one person well it's beautiful so i do i do that a lot i take a little piece of that person a little bit of that person and it's not really uh resemble the person 100 percent because i i don't like to represent people as they are although i've done it for people who are like uh, for book covers mm -hmm. um i have friends who who ask me to do their portraits but i always take the license of make it look because i use different color you can see some of them can recognize themselves in it but it's not 100 percent a photograph Oh, that's so cool. What a great idea. You know, you are so, so brilliant. That's so th cool. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, well, my style is really, uh, I always tell people that my, I have a fusionist uh, mm -hmm. style. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I love certain, you know, I love art to begin with. That's why I, I, I'm in it. <laughs> so I have figurative in it uh, because. I grew up in the uh, in Haiti. My early years was in Haiti, and I was introduced to art from the Bible and also from church. Mm -hmm. So you get a stained glass feel in my work. Uh, it, yes, definitely. Because that's where I was first see art is in the church window. Oh, that's so cool! You know, yeah, that makes yeah, a lot and, of sense. Yeah, and wow. and that's was reinforced when I was studying architecture. Of course. Of course. So I find um, stainless glass again in architecture. So that's an influence of mine. Um, Art Nouveau is also an influence of mine because I like that. Um, Haitian naive art also play into part, mm -hmm. you know. Um, graffiti art come to part also because a little story. I knew Jean-Michel Basquiat when, when he was Samo. When he was what? Samo, when he used oh, to call yeah. himself Samo. Yeah. Yes. Um, Did you know him in New York, York City? Did you know him in New York City? Yeah, I was living in New York City and I knew him well. He, he was half Haitian, half Puerto Rican. So we have a little something in common. I'm Haitian, mm -hmm. um, but we were not great friends. Um, to these days, I know places where he have graffitis that in front of people and they don't know what I was there when he was doing it. Wow. Um, I always tell people I was a coward because oh. my parents were not gonna accept me to do graffiti. Mm -hmm. So I was more like a lookout. Mm -hmm. You know, like, oh, people are coming. I yeah. never jump, I never, <laughs> I never like uh, go on top of a train to do anything. But I'll, you know, if I have time, I'll, I'll be a lookout. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't climb on top of things to do anything illegal because I was afraid of that. I was a coward going up. So well, I was probably more... smart. It's not being a coward. You were probably <laughs> smart because you didn't go to jail and you didn't get in trouble yeah. or get and hurt my... by falling or something. 
and my parents, uh, my father was very tough on us. You know, it's like your generation come here to accomplish something. So I'm expecting this, this, that from you. So that was important. So I, I make sure that I'm out of the, uh, get out, you know, don't get in trouble. So I, 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 and I spoke and he introduced me to um, Andy Waller. Really? You got to meet yeah. Andy? But it's funny, the whole situation funny. I was in the West Village and I was passing by a restaurant and he saw me and he knocked on the window for me to come because I, I wasn't very much, I was at that time, I was focusing in my architecture um, career. So I wasn't doing a lot of art thing. Mm -hmm. So Jean-Michel recognized me and he knocked on the window and, and on Spring Street and in the village. And I went in and he's like, oh, Reggie, it's good to see you, blah, blah. I think he just come from Germany at that time. He had a good show in Germany. I didn't follow him that well. So Andy was with him and uh, he told Andy, oh, he's another Haitian artist. Oh. And, and Andy turned to me and said, you have anything good going on? I said, no. And he walked away from me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he asked me, you have anything that you see you're working on? I said, no. And he's like, this me, and he walked away. It's afterwards. Uh. It's afterwards. I was talking to somebody. Oh, you know, I, I saw I saw Jean-Michel. You know, he introduced me to this guy. This guy said, this is he. I see Andy. Are you crazy? I went back to work and I tell him, I just, you know, I, you know, Jean-Michel, you know, da, 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 da. He, he was one of my mentors at, at my um, architecture job. And I said, yeah, and I met uh, this guy, Andy. He said, oh my God, he's Andy Warhol. <laughs> what did you do? Did you kiss his hand? Did you ah. I said, no, I didn't. I wasn't even thinking about that. I was going to learn, so I just wanted food so I can come that's, back here. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so he just, he just turned around and walked away. Yeah, he was looking for another uh, pop art moment. Yeah, what, most likely. Most like, likely, you, you know. He had a new Brillo pad or. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, and then I met uh, Keith Herring. Mm -hmm. Keith Herring, so it was, it, it, it was very strange. Keith Herring, I met him way after that. Um, he did some, uh, one of his friend's apartment, we were build, doing a, a design of a building in the village. And I went to an apartment and I see all of those molding in the apartment have his uh, graffiti things in it. Wow. So I asked the guy, um, you know, we have to take all of these things down because we're gonna renovate the whole building. And he started crying and he said, my friend did it. Oh no. My friend did it. And I said, well, who is your friend? He said, he's Keith Herring, he's my friend. He did it for me, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I said, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> you said that to him? Yeah, I said, I don't <laughs> believe you. Because he, he's very popular. He's big blah 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 yeah. so he tell me well come come, come late come tomorrow i'm gonna invite him for coffee and we're gonna have some pasta and things like that you will meet him mm -hmm. i couldn't believe it when i get to the apartment he was there oh that's so cool so you got he was yeah i met i met him and i told him i know jean michel so we, we like we we sit down and we laugh about things and things like that Actually, he was one of the people who inspired me. Although I did not know it at that time, that I want a shop, you know, like, yeah. you know, my own little boutique, things yeah. like that, uh -huh. and t-shirts and yeah. things like that. So I, he, that one of the things that I get from him because he had his little shop and things oh, like that. Oh, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I went there and although, you know, I'm not saying that they were friends and I did not collect anything from any of them. That's okay. You know, I didn't collect anything. <laughs> I I know somewhere in my mother's house, there is a, a notebook that I know Jean-Michel wrote on inside of it. So mm -hmm. we, we are keeping an eye on that book. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, we never since know. It's, since it's painting sell in the millions. Oh, yeah. yes. It may yes, be yes, worth yes. something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The book yeah, might yeah. worth something. Mm -hmm. You know? So, yeah. So, I've been around. So, right now, like I say, I'm doing a lot of work. Um, since the pandemic, actually, my work kind of changing, changing a little bit. Um, before I was more focusing on a lot of my work were of women. Oh, really? Um, a lot of my work were, were women. You know, I, I used to do like men, you know, portraits, you know, figures of men here and there. Mm -hmm. But since the pandemic, a lot of my works lately been um, the male figure, mm -hmm. cool. related to male figure. Mm -hmm. um, it's more like, I'm trying to represent, especially us black men, mm -hmm. I'm trying to represent us in a different narrative. Oh, that's great, yeah. You Me know, too. so, yeah, so I've been doing a lot of that, and um, I'm hoping to, actually, right now, I think I have maybe five series, each one of them. I like to change my style a lot, mm -hmm. but you can see that the main things that I always have is color, Mm -hmm. I love colors. Yeah, you're a colorist. Yeah. Yeah, I love colors. Not like I lines. Yeah. I I love lines. Uh -huh. So no matter what I do, you can see that elements in it. Yeah. You know, to to bring everything together. <laughs> All my works have those elements in it. You know, it's the color, the lines. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, even though they are different teams. But you can see that they 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 connected. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see the connection between all my pieces, even though they're different. I, I make sure that they different. Uh, the backgrounds are different. Uh, my three-year-old is in love with flowers. So oh. the last pieces I have is all the background is all flowers. I bet he loves to draw and paint too. Um, he he, he draw and paint, but um. I think he's gonna take more like my wife. He's more like a teacher because he's always teaching me something. He's three years old. <laughs> but kids do. <laughs> yeah, he's always teaching me something. You yeah. know, when he's watching TV and I identify the character wrongly, he'll tell me, "Oh, you got it wrong." Funny. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. But um, I'm looking forward in the next couple of you know, weeks to get this gallery open again and have people come in. Um, I'm working on um, getting some artists and it's very hard, you know, for artists to get places to exhibit and so on and so forth. You know, it's a very hard thing. So I'm thinking of doing some, um, uh, during the summer, as things reopen, I'm thinking of doing some rapid uh, shows. Mm -hmm. Meaning every weekend is a different artist. That's a great idea. You know, every every weekend, because I have so many people online, like, oh, if only I can exhibit my work. I've been doing so much work and I have no place mm -hmm. to, to do it. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to give each one of these people a chance to do a show Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's beautiful. You know? Hopefully, I don't have to be there. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just pass by, be an audience yeah. instead of um, minding the gallery. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know. So that's one of the things I'm shooting for this summer, and that's creating beautiful. more work. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, I'm so glad we got to connect, and I'm serious. If you want to become an artist on Art for Your Cause, and you need any help, just uh, let me. I know. will make sure. No, I'm interested. Um, like I say, I'm very, like I say, I'm, I'm an introvert in that way. And so I'm always looking for ways to connect, you know, I'm, I'm always looking for that. So, and I, and I see some of your posting, they, you know, some of the artists in there are incredible artists. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You know, incredible well, You artists. are too, and we'd love for you to be a part uh, of it. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I yes. will appreciate that. Yeah. I will make sure to contact you. Uh, the next couple of weeks gonna be hectic for me, but I will make sure that we can uh, stay in touch and we contact so we can nice. do that. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So where are you guys based? Um, well, I'm based in Dallas, Texas area. 
Oh, Dallas. Yeah. Cool. Have you been here? Um, I haven't been here, but uh, I have, there is a town in Texas where my cousin is the mayor. Really? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, he's a mayor down here. And actually, I did a portrait of him, but I never, because I tend to do portraits of my cousins that we go up with, mm -hmm. but I never show it to them. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I never showed it to them because one of these days I'll do a show family, you know. Oh, and, yeah, that's a good Yeah, idea. And, and surprise, you you uh, are one of yeah, my people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's a mayor in a small town in Texas. Um, I know the town starts with the P, Palomino or something. On top of my head, I cannot remember. He's a mayor down there. He's a small place, but he's a mayor down there. He's an attorney, so he moved down there. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to, uh, you know. You know, continue being an artist um, full time. It's coming. Mm -hmm. um, these days, I work a lot during the summertime. I also do a lot of construction management and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. But I'm easing on that because the bills have to be paid. You know, um, art in New York. You know, being an artist is not like uh, you can do that. You know, I don't know too many artists top of my head that's three people I know who are full-time artists right. that's use you know that's making money you know living out of being simply an artist yeah yeah you it's, know it's, that, there goes the starving artist myth which we're trying to eliminate as hey, much as possible exactly exactly so, yeah. yeah actually I always tell my friends there is no such thing as a starving artist Right. Because of my architecture background and my construction background, I'm like, you can make things and if you price it properly, it will be sold. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, you might think you're giving it away, but if you need that $30, mm -hmm. you know, it's not cheating. It's not, uh, um, a lot of people actually in the beginning, they used to tell me, oh, Reggie's so, Reggie not an artist. He's so commercial. He do T-shirts. He does uh, postcard. If you go to my place, if you, if somebody walk in my place, you like a piece, most likely you couldn't find a postcard of it. Mm -hmm. It's five dollars. Mm -hmm. So you know if you get that, and that's fine because where where my gallery is located is not like it's it's an up and coming, but I I cannot expect. The people who never been in galleries, right. who never experienced art in this way, gonna get buy a piece from me for two thousand right. dollars, right? then and then. Mm -hmm. So I do a lot of two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, they sixteen by twenties, yeah. and some of them are embellished prints where I paint over them again. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the major sales is the embellished prints. They that know it's a print but they know that I paint on it, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I had a lot of artists who diss me, who tell me, oh, he's so commercial, he's not a fine artist because he have t-shirt posters and things like that. It's just now everybody is realizing that that's my way of getting my work out there. You know, it's my way of getting my work out there. Mm -hmm. um, I always give people an example. One lady come to my place. She wanted one of my paintings. The paint, she could not afford it, but she loved it. Mm -hmm. So she purchased a poster for $30. And it wasn't even the price. I just wanted her to have something. Mm -hmm. So she purchased it for $30. Then for some reason, one of her, her influenced friends found out she liked the painting. And they come in my space and purchase the original, oh. which was like $5,000. Oh my God, that's wonderful. You know, so just from a $30 painting that she loved, they bought her the real one wow. for $5,000. That's beautiful. So now, yeah, so <laughs> if I did not, if I did not have a $30 paint poster, 
right. they would not know how much she loved it and she's showing them that yeah. she loved this she purchased yeah. this and i think they put the money together her friends put the money together to get her the original wow you know if i didn't do that then i would not be able to sell the original to her that's right you know right. you know like you're so, a good salesperson too uh, actually that's why people say but i always feel like you know i like to connect with people uh one on one you know i like to know what they like and things like that and i like to you know for me it's not just the sale of the piece you know everybody that ever purchased something for me i feel like i have a relationship with them exactly you know i have this uh patron all the way in, in uh amsterdam mm. okay who purchased things for me and all he does is uh a lot of the time he tell me where do you have a new series let me see all of them i want to have first shots that's good and i'll show it to them so him and then he'll purchase something he'll send me the money mail it to me you know okay. <laughs> without that's seeing it <laughs> you know that's, so that's a pretty great place to be in yeah he's, he's, he's a patron you know um i have another one in in uh greece who also purchase things from me like every year he make sure he purchase something from me you know he, he's a patron and a collector mm -hmm. and all of those are relation you know it's relation that you build over time mm -hmm. you know it's you know you just have to uh be able to connect with the person on a personal level you know and you connect and it's not just the piece you know they buying the story with me you know exactly the story it, is very important the story why i did it mm -hmm. uh they like the background uh i've been to uh, parties where people who purchase pieces for me they say well, you need to come back because i want you to tell people about the background of the piece mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, so I go to those things, and people will ask, and then I generate sales from these, mm -hmm. going to these places. That's great. You know, yeah. So for me, I'm looking forward. This is a journey for me. You know, every day is a blessing. It is. Get to create, get to connect with people like you. Mm -hmm. You know, people in the art world and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I am so glad that we got to connect and thank you uh, me brought us together. Thank you. Me too. Yeah. Um, and I look forward to working with you. That would be great. Mm -hmm. That would be great. Thank you for meeting me today. No, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure.